How's it going everybody? It's Richard and today we are going to be doing a manga haul. I hope you guys are doing awesome. So let's get right into it. To start this off, we're going to go from least interesting to I'm peaked. So for the first one, we have volume 9 of One Punch Man. Now to say it's the least interesting does not mean I hate One Punch Man. I actually love One Punch Man. I'm just saying my interest is less peaked with this one compared to the other ones I got. I'm more excited about them than this. You understand? Love One Punch Man though. Now for the next one we have D. Gray Man Volume 1. I have no clue if I've made a video on this already. I don't think I have, but I have D. Gray Man Volume 1. Uh, next up here we got One Piece Volume 1. I know I probably should have bought the box set, but to be honest it was only like six bucks at Walmart and I, you know, I seen it. I was like six bucks. For manga one piece i love one piece the anime so i got volume one of the manga it's you know it's one piece it's amazing now we have the death note one shot this came out recently i think last month it is short stories um it's death note i don't have any death note manga this would be the first i have seen the anime death note is really good so I have high hopes for this this volume of manga. It's not a volume, it's a one shot. Same thing. Um, I've flipped through it a little bit and it looks really cool. Um, that's all I gotta say. Something I also was really excited about that just got released that I didn't know was Sakamoto Days Volume 2. Love Sakamoto Days. I read it before it had physical releases. Read it on the Shonen Jump app like last year. And I really thought that this was going to be stuff that I haven't read yet. I've already read it online, so I'm kind of sad. But still, super happy to have Volume 2. I'm going to collect all of this as it releases. Um, I didn't know this got released. My brother actually picked this up for me, so thank you to him. Number 6, we have the last volume of Chainsaw Man. The last volume of Part 1, I should say. Um, as you can see behind me, I have all of them. So Now, that I, now I have all of them. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and binge through the last uh, five or six because I think I'm on volume five right now. Uh, I'm just slowly reading through them uh, when I have time. So yeah, volume 11. Now for volume seven, I was super excited to see this in stores because I thought it was out of stock. 20th Century Boys volume one. Super excited to jump into this. I don't know if I've already put this in a video because I got it a while back. I got it like three or four weeks ago. So yeah, 20th Century Boys Volume 1. Also with the new release, we have Crazy Food Truck. I know nothing about this. I just seen a lot of people making videos about it. MLG Man, especially, I seen him uh, make a video about this. So shout out to MLG Man. Um, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. I got this because of you. Now time for depression. We have Goodnight Pun Pun Volume 1 and 2. I don't know anything about Goodnight Pun Pun. I just know a lot of people love it and I've heard it's very sad. It's very depressing. So yeah, I don't really like feeling that way but you know a story is good when it can impact you in that type of way to make you feel that type of way. So I had to pick it up. And let's see if it actually makes me sad because most people will say something makes them feel this way like or the majority of people like with horror manga a lot of people say like oh I could I had nightmares for the past the past week after reading it it's like when then I read the same book and eh, I didn't feel the same way um, that's probably a bad comparison but yeah good night pun pun volume 1 and 2 we also picked up Gantz volume 1 the omnibus I read this last night I love it. I actually went to uh, a manga store today to try and pick up volume two. There was volume two. I did not pick it up because I picked up the next items instead. So yeah, but Gantz, I might make a review on this because it was really good and I want to continue the story. It left me off on a, like a kind of a cliffhanger. I definitely wanted to see what happened next. Now I was saying just a second ago that I went to the manga store to see if they had Gantz Volume 2. They did, didn't pick it up because I picked up Fire Punch 1 through 3. Now, I was so excited to see this. You know how like whenever you're going and you're just 
you're just like scanning through the shelves like you're not really looking for anything in particular but then you see it you see it you look you glance down at the, the volume numbers to see if they have the ones you need yes they did I freak out picked them up immediately and so now Gantz, the rest of Gantz is going to have to wait because I picked up these and if more of them keep coming back into stock I'm just going to pick up the rest of them because I think there's only eight or nine volumes it's a really small um, like amount of books you need to complete the series it's also if you did not know by the creator of Chainsaw Man this is what uh, he came out with before Chainsaw Man so I got up. I'm I'm pretty excited. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so um, I just I had to pick it up. So that's all the manga that I picked up over the past like month. Without further ado, I'm gonna end the video. I know I've said it a million times, but peace. Have a good day. Have a good week, and read lots of manga. Stay safe.